Jesus is yeah. with Allah, you know, while yeah. Muhammad is in the grave, because and he you died know what? Eden, in 1,400 years, animals came and then eat the flesh of Muhammad probably in the grave. And probably you've got only his teeth or his skeletons. <laughs> what am I left? Why are you being rude? So is that, is that not fact? No, you're being rude. So, why are you just saying this? What happens to the body? No, no, no. What, no, no, no. What, is that, that, that is not a fact? It's not disrespect because what remnants do you have of Muhammad now? It's in, it's in uh, Medina. So yeah, you have remnants. You, listen, have, you have remnants of Muhammad. No. Listen, listen. Do you have his... Uh, his grave is shit. in Medina. What? Do you have his white armpits? No, you don't. Listen. He's been dead for 1,400 years. I'm not going to lie. You're, you've said some very derogatory and rude statements. No, that's what your hadith says. Okay. Your hadith no, no. says that he Why has white saying, armpits. No, all of these... No, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about before what she said. And then saying, did you leave your brain at home? Listen, I spoke, to, I, spoke to, I, I spoke to you politely, no? I told other people that they were rude to you. Okay, yeah. No, it is. It's not about being polite or not. Of course it is. I'm talking of course about it is. Eternity. Does the Bible, does the Bible not tell you? Does the Bible tell you to treat your neighbor as you would like yourself to be treated? No? So you're not following the Bible. Shaking, and I think your yours eternity is, is taken okay. into half Listen. because of the teachings of Muhammad. Yeah. Just be careful. Exactly, yeah. She's not, she's not showing me that neighborly love with her rudeness. Yeah? I, I, no, I love she's, you enough. No, no, I love she's, you she's enough. I love you enough to tell you the no, truth. I, I don't appreciate and you are committing and shit. Dude, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, I, I Ibrahim. Do you know do you know something about tough love? Did you, listen, did listen. You, she's giving she's no, giving you tough love. Did I say anything bad about you? Yes. What did I say? Didn't you say Jesus didn't die? Yeah, it yeah that's, that's my bad. So, that's, that's bad. my belief. So, I said, my God. And then in, my, in, our, in our belief, Muhammad is a false prophet that's fine. who's you making you commit shirk. Yeah, no, no. You, that, those are your beliefs. But what I don't appreciate is saying like all these comments about only uh, in his grave there's this left and this it's, left. Yeah, that's that true. And, fact, and the words sir. that she said. That's a fact. Huh? That's, that's a, a no, no, fact. The remnants of Muhammad no, is in the said. grave. I'm not going to repeat what she said. Sir. Now you speak calmly. Isn't that a fact? Now you speak calmly. So if you open Muhammad's grave, yeah. Are you gonna say his shit? Are you gonna say his armpits? His what? Armpit? His shin. Are you gonna his say armpits. his face? His face. Thanks for the English hat. Maybe if he doesn't so understand. Are you gonna say that? No, because he's we, in we the believe grave. that all prophets are preserved in their grave. So let's go and open the grave of Muhammad. Okay, you go to Saudi Arabia and do that. <laughs> You, you know there, better than me. You know better than me. Muhammad's flesh is not that. You would be lucky if there is even man called Muhammad there, sir. But you can't prove it if you haven't done it. That's <laughs> okay, bro. But, bro. Jesus, but, Jesus but Jesus, but Jesus is know, well alive. You know, My name is Daniel. Yeah. Daniel. But he's not Can I have a sincere and conversation with you miracle. away from Where everyone off miracles. the camera? No, because we're always on camera. But I, I would prefer to talk to you properly without shouting involved. Yeah. What do you mean we're shouting? We're not <laughs> shouting. We're not shouting there, bro. On the ladder, yeah, because we're speaking to people. Okay, yeah, yeah, but... Not we're just you. One-on-one conversation. Yeah, one-on-one, on one we can okay. do it, yeah. <laughs> I'd prefer to talk to you properly. Do you have the sheet so we can... Is it working? Yeah, it's working, yeah. Do you, do you have gonna, the... Is he going to actually talk? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a discussion. We're talking, we're talking. But do you have the sheet with the... Uh, the Atahiyah talk so we can discuss it? Yeah, I have it here. Do you mind if I move this? Sorry, I just picked it out without asking. No, no, it's all right. Just leave it here. What do you want to see? So I just wanted to go through with you. Okay, see, so yeah. Okay, so firstly, I'll need to find the statement because obviously I don't expect you to just trust what I say offhand. Yeah, but just say until then we'll call it a uh, an assumption. Yeah. About what? About regarding the context. Remember I said there's a context. It's that Allah is speaking to Allah Muhammad. Muhammad. It's a conversation. Yeah. And you're just repeating, just repeating that yeah, conversation. Yeah. For now, because I haven't given you the hadith, we'll just call it an assumption because I don't expect you to accept something without evidence. Of yeah? course. Okay. So just leave that aside for now. We're going to talk about the actual text because you guys were saying that me reading this is an act of worship. Yeah. Me, you reciting yeah. is in your prayers. Yeah. You're not just talking to anybody. <coughs> yes. This is while you are praying. Yeah. You are reciting. Okay. These words okay. saying, "Peace be upon you, O prophets." Okay. So, firstly, do you need to see it or? No, no. Uh, firstly, if you want to make save my battery. Though. Yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. Firstly, to to make your argument, I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't the best argument. If you ask any Muslim that knows something, they'll tell you the same thing. That's a context. What's better argument for you is to is the thing in the last section, which is called the durud. Have you heard of it? What about it? Where you say, "Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, kama salaita ala ali Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim, inna ka Hamid al-Majid." Allahumma barak ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, kama barakta ala ali Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim, inna ka Hamid al-Majid. 
Majid, which is saying, Oh Allah, uh, Allahumma salli so, Oh Allah, send your, uh, your, your, uh, like, your, 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 um, <coughs> your salawat, which is like, you know, to, set, to send blessings upon Muhammad, like you sent upon Ibrahim, yeah, and his family. And then, in the second section, second section, <coughs> The same thing, but Allahumma barak. So send the blessings upon Muhammad as you sent on Ibrahim and upon his family. This would have been a better case for you. Why? Because this is why, why would that be a better case? Because How and why? Because that one we're actually directing towards Muhammad. No, you're not. As in, as in say, say what you just said again, because yeah. I don't know if you heard yourself. Yeah, say yeah. it again. As in, this is directly about Muhammad. Yeah, say, say it in English again. Okay. So, oh Allah, send your salawat. Oh Allah, yeah. send your salawat. Yeah. Upon yeah. Muhammad, as you said, upon Ibrahim and his family. And then the same, but blessing. So okay. you're not speaking to Muhammad, you're speaking yeah. to Allah. But in the first case, I'm not either. <laughs> That's my point. Okay, my battery's gonna die, but I'm gonna take it out anyway. Yeah. This is what it says. You're in still the first case, I'm speaking. I'm not speaking to anyone. I'm repeating a conversation. No, you're not. That's an assumption. Remember, until you bring it, that's an assumption. Okay, no. You haven't proved it. Assumption for now means we're working under it. So I'm saying, even if we're working, no, we can't work under an okay. assumption. Okay, then we'll completely dismiss this point. Yeah, because say, it say, when it says, if if my point is right, yeah, according to your partial assumption, yeah, it's not a partial assumption. Peace be upon you, or yeah. prophet is directly speaking to the Prophet. But when you're saying, may Allah send peace and blessings upon you, O Prophet, you're speaking to Allah. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. You're saying that. Of course I have a problem because, you know, that's false God and everything. That's a different topic. But that's not shirk, according to Surah 448. But according to Surah 448, which is shirk, to speak, to make anyone equal to Allah, shirk, it's called shirk, which is hellfire for you. So this is directly speaking to him in Sahih Muslim how, how, 402 so sh sh and Sahih Al-Bukhari 831. Sh sh shirk comes from the word sharqa, which is partnership, yeah? Partnership, yeah. yeah. Partnership, as in, you know, like if you have like a partnership in a business, it's, it's the same root word. So shirk is to make someone equal, equal, yeah? equal with Allah, yeah. Or, or to raise to that rank. Yeah. Okay, so in this statement, Assalamu, uh, uh, assalamu alayka ayyuhad nabi. How is that making it equal to Allah? Because I'm actually, yeah, I'm, uh, let me explain, let, let me answer it. One, uh, okay. sorry, you speak and then I'll speak. No, the, the answer to that question is, this is in your prayers. Okay. Yeah? yeah? You're praying to Allah. Yeah? While you're praying to Allah, you should only speak to Allah. Only address him directly. Only address Allah. So, so uh, no, I'm just repeating what he's saying. Only address Allah. So while you're addressing Allah, if someone else is coming into the prayer, which is in this case, peace be upon you, O Prophet, you're making that person equal to Allah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so I, I get what you're saying. And you're saying in the durood, because I'm saying, oh Allah, send the blessings, it's not, in your, according to you, it's not shirk. Okay. According to, according okay. to what you just said, okay. you're not speaking to Muhammad, you're speaking okay. to Allah. Okay. So that's not shirk. Okay. Now, if, when you say, Assalamu Alaikum, yeah, or you say, Assalamu Alaika, uh, the difference is, um, kum is, is more of a, is plural, it's, it's the generic way, yeah? Okay, so they're the same word, yeah? Assalamu alayka means, yeah? Assalam, which is the name of Allah, is essentially the source of peace, yeah? So you're saying, may the, may, may the peace of God, the, 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 uh, the source of peace, the peace be upon you, O, o Prophet. So, Here's what I'm not getting. Yeah. In the first case where I said, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, oh Allah, send your salutation, your salawat upon the Muhammad, is the Simple. same as saying, no. as sal the peace of God be upon you. You know, that's so, what you know, you're saying. You know, you know the difference? Allah is you know, above Muhammad no, in the statement itself. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because Which one? Uh, Tashahud or Darud? Assalamu as as alayka. As yeah. Assalamu as alayka, ayyuhan nabi, means. The peace of God, the source of peace, its peace be upon you, O Prophet. You, That's the literal translation. You know, you know, you know the problem we have is the word you. Okay. Because when you're saying you, yeah. you're speaking to him. Okay. But directly. But, but we mentioned, yeah. So we if you're saying okay. if you're saying may Allah's <laughs> blessings and peace yeah. be upon him, that's right. Him. You know? 
yeah. he's not going to listen. But when you're saying you directly, you're speaking to him. It's like I'm speaking to you here, you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Firstly, firstly, I'll tell you why from two perspectives why this is not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Firstly, from an Islamic perspective, yeah, and this is something that the Prophet said in his own lifetime as well. Those that died in, in, in uh, that are shuhada, those that have been martyred, yeah, whether they be uh, like the early Christian martyrs that were martyred by the Romans, whether they be the Jews that were martyred, or whether they be the Muslims that were martyred, yeah, the martyrs, and this is in the Quran, do not say the martyrs are dead, no, they are alive, yeah. And we say in the in the graves we say assalamu alaikum to them and we, we make dua for them, we supplicate to God for them. And the scholars have mentioned that the prophets are higher. Would you agree prophets are higher than martyrs? No? They all they're all equal. They're all, for us for us they're all equal. Okay. Only God <laughs> is above. In terms of their relationship to God. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. The that's Bible fine. says Elijah was a man, just like you and I. <laughs> and the Quran says we uh, Elijah was a prophet, but he was a man just and, like us. You know, the Quran also says that um, I have to get find the ayah for you to quote it verbatim, but from the top of my head. Allah said, Those of you that worship Muhammad, he is dead. Right? The Quran makes that clear. Yeah? As where where does it say that? that? I'll find it for you later. Yeah? When we when we take a uh, intermission. So the yes. question is, why do you worship? Him? We don't yeah. worship him. That's my, a, that's that's a question. Why is, do you worship? My Muhammad? point is my point is the the shuhada, the martyrs. The shahud. The, huh? No, the shuhada. Is okay, okay, the sorry, of martyrs, sorry, yes, Shahid, yeah. yeah, and the prophets. Yeah, are, are not dead in the same way that an average person is dead. Yeah? <laughs> so where are they? <laughs> they're, they're, the, the, this, the average person is dead, buried, gone. But the prophets this are where? Where are they? Hadith. Yeah, and in Quran. Huh? So, the, the, where the are the souls prophets? Remain in their graves to receive these things. So, for example, um, there's a there's a hadith that mentions that that the if like when the prophet's dead, if you send salawat upon me, so you say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Yeah, Allah sends this to my grave directly. Sends it to me directly. Now. The no, but that's fine if you're saying Allah send it to yeah, him, and, and but don't say but, it to him, say to, to you. We, we say to the shuhada as well, and this is what the Prophet commanded for the martyrs in the battle of Uhud and the battle of Badr. When you go past their grave, say Assalamu Alaikum. So it's not shirk because we're not worshipping them. They, they, no, but this is in your prayers, bro. This yeah. is it. five times a day so, you pray, so, you say these things in your prayers. If you're going past the grave and you're saying Assalamu Alaikum or whatever you're saying to okay, them, but also, okay, you know, you also, can say, <coughs> you can say that to dead people, okay. you know, who, uh, rest I, in peace. And when I, when but I this is in your prayers. And when I conclude the prayer, who am I saying salam to? It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You're speaking to Allah in the beginning, you're speaking to Allah to, at the end, but there is somewhere. Okay, um, somewhere in the middle, um, Muhammad comes in um, why and he interjects. Okay. No, he doesn't. Five mean. times a day. So, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I, I see what you mean, but he's not interjecting. No one's interjecting. No, he is there for you to proclaim him yeah. and directly speak to him. Okay. But we're going around in circles okay. now, so, so we might as well just wrap up. Let, let's, okay, I'll, I'll just conclude. So yeah, conclude and I'll conclude. Okay. Yeah. So. I wanted to find you those hadith. Perhaps if you compose, I can pull it up for you or something. Or if you have to go, whatever, you can search for it yourself later. What? Which one? The, the, the context of the uh, of the uh, atayat. But the context is. Can you can, clear. can you bring it next week? We're here next week. Okay. If, if I'm here next week, I'll come. I'll We're here every come. week, so. Yeah. I'll be here to bring it for you. Cool. But from the linguistics itself, it's somewhat clear. So atayatu lillahi wa salatu This part. This is direct to Allah. Then assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Then. It said, وَعِبَادْ لَا إِسْفَالِحِينَ Yeah? And then someone says, أَشْهَدُ وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَأَشْهَدُ وَنَّا مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ Yeah? Now, this وَعِبَادْ لَا إِسْفَالِحِينَ Yeah? In the original, if you read the hadith in context, it makes more sense why these things are said. At-Tahiyyat is Muhammad speaking to Allah. The second part is, <coughs> Allah says to Muhammad, Assalamu alayka ayyuhal nabi. Then Muhammad said, Wa ibadillahi salihin. Upon all servants, all the pious servants, as in all the, all the pious people, your mercy is on them as well. Yeah? Then the angels say, Ashhadu la ilaha illallah. This is a repeating of that. The context is there in the sense of why would. <coughs> 
why would we have this conversation? Who? Why am I? If I'm if I'm speaking to Muhammad, just remove from the context the text alone. Okay, it makes sense, like you said. Atahiyatu lillahi wa salatu wa salawatu wa salatu. Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. Then you say, Assalamu alaikum ayyuhan nabi. Yeah, okay. And then wa ibadah salahi. Why? Why then? Why then? From a linguistic point of point of view, assalamu. If I wanted to say plural, I would say assalamu alaikum. No alayka. Alayka means you. And then to specify even more, ayu an nabi, which is like oh you prophet. So there's two here. That double two. double shirk. Yeah, no, it's not shirk here because there's the context, which has said clearly just this person. But then wa ibad la salim, which means all the pious servants. Which means why have these why have these joined so, in? So okay, it, means, yeah. it would make sense that this is a second speaker, which is Muhammad said this, Allah said this, then Muhammad added this to that. Because why would you suddenly change from singular to plural very quickly? And what I'm saying is next week when I bring you all the context from the hadith, it will make perfect sense why this these is things the context are there. here. You read the context? You got it, yeah? Just, yeah, just read the context. Is this Muhammad teaching them how to pray? Okay. Which which hadith collection? Sahih al Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 12, yeah. Number 794. For the viewers, again, Sahih al Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 12, Number 794. This is my conclusion, yeah? Narrated Shakik bin Salama. Abdullah said, whenever we prayed behind the Prophet, we used to recite peace be upon Gabriel, Michael, peace be upon so and so. Oh, Allah's Apostle looked back at us and said, Allah Himself is Assalam, peace. And if any one of you prays, then you should say, Atta, Tayotu, Lihilla, say it, yeah. Atta, Hiyatu, Lillahi, was Salawatu, what Tayyibat. Assalamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatu. Assalamu alayna wa ala ibad lai salaheen. Yeah, so all compliments, prayers, and good things are due to Allah. Peace be upon you, O Prophet, and Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. Peace be on us and on the true pious. You say. Which so, one? So, so the, it, what it should say, so from here, when it says, so this up to uh, uh, um, mercy and blessings, yeah. and then, Assalamu alayna wa abayla salaheen. So then, okay, this is, a, this is an extrapolation. This is an addition. This is in Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah. No, this There's is. different versions of this in Bukhari as well, but that's fine. Okay, that's fine, but this is yeah. the context. There is no conversation no. between Allah and Muhammad. There's another hadith which explains where this happened. <laughs> okay, you need to bring yeah, the hadith. Saying, you need to bring, bring the hadith. No problem. But There's, this is Sahih al Bukhari, yeah. volume 1, book 12, number 794. Yeah? It's clear as crystal. I don't know how clear it can get that you're speaking to. Muhammad who is dead, buried and gone, yeah? So when you are doing your worship to Allah, how can you commit this kind of shirk? And you don't call it shirk because that would be like, no, we don't do these things. You can't accept it. But you need to reflect on what you are saying in your prayers. Even the partial knowledge that you have about Arabic is partial, you know? Some things you're saying you don't know. Some things you say you know. What did I say that I didn't know? You know partial Arabic, yeah? So you don't know full Arabic. Yeah, but how, how many? Do, how much Arabic do you know? Uh, I don't need to know Arabic because I'm not the one praying to no, Allah. You know? but what I'm I don't need to know you're, that. You're critiquing a statement and you're making certain. No, what I'm about saying it, is, you guys you, need to reflect okay, upon but, what you're saying because you don't know. No, wait, let me. Record, I'm concluding. Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Just no, no, I don't know okay, Arabic. I don't need to know Arabic okay. because I'm not the one praying to Allah. I'm praying to Jesus. I can pray in any language at any time. Jesus told us this is how you pray. Yeah. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, where they go around, yeah, they want to be seen by men, around street corners and speakers corner, and this is Matthew chapter 6 verse 5, this is what Jesus said, do not be like the hypocrites to be, to be seen by them, but when you're praying, go to your house, close the door, uh, implying humility, pray to your father who sees you in secret, and he will reward you openly. And this is how you pray, our Father. So you bring everyone, our Father, yeah? Who's in heaven, holy is your name. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on this earth, just as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive all who sin against us. For uh, do not lead us into any kinds of temptation, but deliver us from all kinds of evil ones. 
for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. We start with God, we have the God in the middle and we finish with God. We don't interject with man. And Jesus said, you can ask me anything in my name and I'll do it. Because he's the God man who can hear your prayers. Come to know Christ. God bless you.